obviously we spoke about some of the complications with you making uh, 147. Um, you're now going up to 154, but at, at 147, you were basically, you had every belt besides the world title. You're yeah. a European champion, you're a British champion, and also Commonwealth. Yeah. Um, the last fight didn't go according to plan with Mohamed, uh, is it Mamoun? Mamoun. Mamoun. I remember looking at, at the weigh and I did think to myself, Jesus, Sam does Man. look a bit drained. Do you know what? Do you know what's irritating as well, losing by a point? And although it's a blessing in disguise, because if anyway I'd have, I'd have won that fight, you know, I'd probably make it right away again. Because, you know, I'd have, I'd have kept the title and I've had really no choice. Um, but, like I say, I, the Mamoon fight, the, the, I, could make, I could tell you things about making weight for the Mamoon fight. You know, I'd get my licence to off me. It's it it horrendous, man. Just, well, you're in a sauna steam room oh, of, uh, I was doing on a bike. Everything, everything bar amputation. Honestly, Jesus. Uh, everything by amputation I was doing to get to make the weight for that fight. Um, How did you find the rehydration the next day, though? Did you? And that's what that, that I was, that's what I was saying to people. Like, normally I feel like shit on the day of the weigh-in anyway, because I'm quite mid anyway. But I'll refuel. I'll eat, sleep, wake up in the morning, and I'll feel I'll, I'll be bouncing. You know, I'm, I'll stretch off and that, and I'll be bouncing. But you know, I ate, slept, and everything for the moon fight exactly the same. And I woke up and my legs were like lead. Ooh. And I was like, and I was, I was a bit nervous. And I stretched them off and I was walking around Manchester town and started feeling a bit better. But then I'd sit down for something to eat. And then within five minutes, my legs were like lead again. And I was just thinking, this is not going to be a good night, man. And it was, it, was, it was playing on my mind. And as I was warming up, it was playing on my mind. You know, they was telling me, you know, as I'm warming up, yeah, sit down for a bit now, it's take five. And I was like, nah, nah, let's just keep warming up because otherwise I'm just going to seize up again. It's, just, oh man. And the body shots as well, normally. You know, I take body shots quite comfortable. But I was feeling sick and that off his body shots, and he's not even a big puncher. I mean, oh man, it's just, it just, a lot of things are just. just do, do you think, two, two things, do you think one weight played a major part in that defeat, and what else do you think went wrong in that fight? Um, honestly, mate, I, I feel like a couple of fights before, and I'd have, I'd have got through the moon before the eighth, I believe that. Um, there was a round in the fight we had where he went back and he was he was out of breath and as it was like, sort of my rounds like it was around the sixth or seventh round at the end of the round he was blowing and um, he, his nose was bleeding and, and, all, and so on and normally from there on I just normally go all out and, 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 I, and I get him you know if I could make weight the same for that fight as I did for you know Skeet um, even Frankie Gavin because um, Frank Gavin was hard to make weight for. I was starting to really feel it then, and then um, Man 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 Manan was it was a bit more comfortable, but I had that scare factor of going away for three days from the Wednesday because it was in at the O2. So I sort of made weight a bit better. But um, mate, if I if I'd have made weight like I did for Man Manan or if I could have made weight like that, I honestly believe I'd have, I'd have beat Mamoun before the twelfth round, one hundred points. Um, like I say, the way I felt and the way the way I done the weight, and I lost well, I think it was a point or two. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was this. It was close. But yeah, man, and, and that's what makes it more of a sick now. But like I say, it's a blessing in disguise because if anyway I had a wound, um, I'd have been making wild weight again. Yeah. And I convinced myself of that as well. I'd convinced myself, now nah, it was just this, it was just that. But it's not, um, I just can't do the weight. I went and had a, a DEXA scan not long after the fight, and the bloke said to me, he said, there's no, there's no way, you know, professionally I could tell you how to make 10 7. He said if I had 0% body fat, you know, I wouldn't make 10 7. 